Well, hello there. If you tapped on the video, you probably have a Hyundai, a Kia, an Audi, or a Volkswagen that is burning oil like Puff Daddy at a freak off. This is the 2013 Kia Soul base. It's a 1.6 liter uh, GDI. It's burning oil like crazy. And when I say burning oil, I mean, let's say 2.1 to maybe 2.2 quarts every thousand miles. So again, it's going through oil like Diddy had a freak off. So the plan of attack here, you guys, we're gonna hit this thing with two engine flushes. We have a ton of automatic uh, transmission fluid. We're gonna, we've got some, uh, some extended life filters because we're gonna try and pull all of the crap out of this engine so we can get those piston rings uh, moving again and get that, uh, or keep that oil where it belongs so it doesn't burn. Um, we also have some Cataclean and we have a, just a simple kind of tool to reset the codes basically because we're, we're probably gonna get a check engine light <laughs> when we do a smoke show. Um, in terms of the uh, engine oil that we're gonna be using, I'm using 20 weight 50. Um, this is racing oil. The only reason I'm using something this thick is it's very thick. Um, in particular, we're going to be using a lot of solvents and things that are not going to protect the engine uh, as well. So it's always better to have a, just at least a, a quarter, maybe even two of that in when you're running uh, the automatic transmission fluid. Um, what I'm going to be using even afterward is the new Restore and Protect by Valvoline. All right, you guys, round one. Um, as usual with these cars, when you check the oil, the oil level will always be low. <laughs> so uh, this one's uh, about a quart low. We're gonna add some uh, liquid moly engine flush. This is round one. Remember, this is coming in with the dirty oil. Um, it's probably got 3,500 miles on it, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. So liquid moly is going in. I'm gonna throw in also, since it is low, I'm gonna throw in a quart of ATF. And again, you're not running this thing all day, or all, I mean, excuse me, all day. You're not running this thing for like 50,000 miles or 30,000 miles. You can go ahead and get the cheap stuff. In fact, I saw one video where a mechanic was almost implying that the synthetic stuff doesn't clean as well as the cheap stuff. So I got this at Walmart. This is super tech, super easy to get a hold of. I'm gonna put about a quart in. Again, just estimating. Yeah, a little bit more, just a touch. I'd say that's it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start this thing up and let it idle for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. All right, you guys, liquid molly's in with a quart of automatic transmission fluid. Uh, the reason I want you guys to kind of get a, a listen to it, just kind of get an idea of what it sounds like. The lifter and everything kind of clicking right now. We'll see if it sounds any better afterwards. I'm gonna give it about 10 seconds. I also notice that this is vibrating. All right, so we'll see if that smooths out. See if we can measure anything kind of objectively, not scientifically, but objectively. Yeah. All right, you guys, round two, the uh, engine flush and one quart of ATF with the very dirty, dirty oil has been run through and flushed. Um, this is round two now. We're gonna be doing the full three and a half quarts of uh, ATF. And this, for those who don't know, is thinner than motor oil. And that's why we're not going to drive the car, but this is filled with tons of detergents. So this gives you an insane cleaning ability in a short amount of time. As long as you don't run the engine hard, you don't move the car, don't put the engine under load. So this is round two, let's go. All right, you guys, for round two, with the three quarts of ATF, we're also gonna put in probably about half a quart of the 20 weight 50 racing oil. Why? Because it's much, much thicker than your standard oil, so it'll support that really thin ATF as it flows through the system. All right, you guys, it's 1.03 p.m. 3.5 liters, or 3.5 quarts of ATF went in. Uh, I topped it off at half a quart of 20 weight 50, just in case. I know it's over the uh, top, but hey, we're trying to clean every part of the engine that we can. Um, it's not gonna hurt anything to be slightly over. So um, anyways, yeah, we're gonna let this run for a full hour, and I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go inside, chill out, and uh, when we come back, we'll drain this thing, and we're gonna do another 
flush with the ATF. Uh, this time it's just different ATFs, higher. It is a synthetic, so we're using the standard and the synthetic. Uh, I'm even throwing in some, uh, for good measure, some uh, Honda uh, ATF basically here too. Um, once we do that, we're gonna drain that. That's round three. Then I'm gonna put in uh, some Restore and Protect. We're gonna do two cans of the valve cleaner, which is gonna dirty the fuck out of the oil. Once that oil's dirty, we're gonna drain it again. Um, and I know I'm using Restore and Protect and it's good stuff, but hey, that's what I have. Uh, the last and final round will be with the Restore and Protect with a, a fresh uh, 10,000 mile filter. And we're gonna check the oil every, probably every week, just see what happens and I'll update, let you guys know. But uh, right now, currently where the car sits, it's easily two, if not 2.2 um, quarts of oil every thousand miles. It, it might even be two and a half, you guys, it's pretty bad. Um, so we've already done one engine flush on this like months ago. Um, just ran it for the 14 minutes like Liquid Molly, you know, wants in their directions and it didn't do a damn thing for us. So um, I'm just gonna do it this time. It's a lot more aggressive and a lot more thorough. And just give it some time. We're not at a, uh, an, uh, in an oil change place, so we can take our time. Anyways, we still got a lot of stuff here in the arsenal and uh, we're planning to use it all. Um, if I can, I'm gonna try and use this somewhere in the mix. If not, I'll save it for one of our uh, other cars, basically, here. But definitely another round of ATF. Um, we're going to do uh, uh, some Restore and Protect. We're going to clean the valves, drain that. And then we got the last and final fill-up with some Restore and Protect, which we're hearing nothing but uh, very good stuff about. If you're not familiar with this stuff, this will clean uh, the engine and restore it, supposedly, to factory conditions in terms of a sludge and playlist. Uh, and what we're shooting for here is to clean these very stuck and caked up piston rings so the thing stops burning oil. So they say within uh, four oil changes, and they're usually short-term um, oil changes on these, so 3,000 miles, so let's say within 12 to 15,000 miles, you know, let's say within a year of driving, you can get your car supposedly to factory spec. So we'll see. Um, either way, at least there's something on the market that, that's shooting in that direction. So I'm glad to try it, glad to have it. All right, you guys, this is draining the first full fill of ATF. Um, anybody who's seen automatic transmission fluid before, you know it's pretty clear and it's pretty red. This is after idling the car for exactly, we'll call it 61 minutes. And here we go. That's dripping below. Come on. There you go. So this is what we got after letting the car idle for 61 minutes with ATF filling the entire crankcase. I'm trying to use the backlighting here to kind of give you an idea, see how dirty it is or clear it is. It's not too dark. You can still kind of see some light get through some of that. Um, it is pretty dark, but the bottom line is we know that this stuff is an amazing detergent. So it's great for cleaning the inside of the engine and it does it gently without using solvents. It's still an oil. So the cool thing is you can fill it up with oil right after and just run um, as opposed to the liquid molly, which thins everything out that you put in afterward because you always leave a little bit behind. So you'll end up just kind of losing some viscosity of the oil. It's not the end of the world, but it's not ideal, especially if you're going to do all this work. So. We're going to let this drain out and get this oil filter out. So we can go ahead and just pull this thing out here. Now, this has only been used for an hour. Uh, I don't care. I'm going to just I want everything to be brand new and fresh. So any garbage that's in here is going to be trapped in here. Maybe if we have a chance, if I have a, somewhere to do it, I'll try and cut the filter open and see what's inside, see if there's any sludge cut, uh, cut inside, but I'm definitely sure it's got, it's got a whole lot of something in there. All right, you guys, we have a new filter on <clears throat> and we've drained the uh, full uh, crankcase of the ATF. This is round two of the ATF. I'm going to try and do another hour or close to an hour, let it idling. I already got one quart in. This is quart number two. And like I was saying, for good measure, we're gonna use some old Honda stuff too. So uh, we use a full synthetic, we're using Honda, and then the uh, Super Tech from Walmart, um, it's over there underneath 
um, we did some of that. So um, we're throwing the kitchen sink at this thing. I'm gonna make sure this engine is clean for my good friend. Um, I want him to be able to get a car when he wants to be able to get a car, and not when he has to get a car. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna help him out. Round three. All right, you guys, this is round four. We went ahead and did two cans of the seafoam in the intake. This is, this is the empty uh, area. We'll call it the, uh, yeah, the dead can area, basically. Here, so we did t uh, two cans of the seafoam in the intake, uh, ran another 40 minutes of ATF. I drained it. I did not have the ability to grab my phone, but I wanted to show you guys that the uh, fluid coming out was very clear and very pink. Um, which means it definitely cleaned the inside of the engine, um, especially after two rounds of the ATF. I, I, that stuff is amazing. Um, what we're doing now is we're gonna do uh, three and a half quarts of the um, five weight 30, the, Val the Valvoline Restore and Protect. We're gonna go for a hard 20 minute drive because we wanna get all that smoke out of the system, uh, get all, you know, burn all that carbon off basically off the intake valves. Um, and then we're gonna come back, I'm gonna do a final drain and fill uh, with some more restore and protect. Um, I might even do an engine flush before I do that. So um, this thing is gonna be about as clean as you can possibly get it. And I can't wait to get you guys the uh, results afterward. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, we're still at, towards the end of round four, where we've run uh, two cans of the intake cleaner through the engine, went for a hard 20 mile drive, created a smoke show, lots of scenes, people tripping out at the stoplights, what the fuck's going on with that car, is it on fire? <laughs> so anyways, uh, since we ran all the smoke through, uh, I wanna go ahead and clean it, uh, clean that oil out or just drain it out. And I'm even gonna change the filter since I have, um, one extra one left. Since I have an extra can of engine flush, I think I do. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and just even run this through too. I don't even care. So we're gonna do one more engine flush, drain the oil, and then refill it with the five weight 30 restore and protect by Valvoline. Um, as far as the direction, say even from Liquid Molly, you do not need to do a sacrificial oil change, you guys. Um, I think that's more myth than anything. Um, even if you don't, we're still gonna be using the Restore and Protect. I might throw in some uh, 20 weight 50, maybe half a quart or a quart on top just to thicken the oil, give it a little bit of resistance basically there. But um, yeah, we're gonna do the uh, engine flush, um, sacrificial engine flush we'll call it, and then just drain this and fill it up, finish it up. Round four, coming to an end. This is round four, second engine flush for the day going in. Nice. Just to take a video guys, uh, this is what it sounds like now as it idles after uh, well, the end of round four. So, the uh, little box here in the corner seems like it is vibrating, maybe a little bit less. It's still shaking. Let's see. Still have that direct injection clicking, obviously. Alright, so, so far we've done. One engine flush, we've added Cataclean. We did two full crankcase fulls of uh, automatic transmission fluid, and we did it with the standard SuperTech, and then the full synthetic ATF, and some Honda ATF. I even ran, in, uh, ran through about half a quart of zero weight 20 just to basically um, kind of wash out the uh, crankcase after I uh, emptied the uh, ATF. We did two full cans of intake cleaner. Um, on the intake, we did a 20 minute 
hard drive. I uh, had this thing about 110. Um, it didn't tell all the smoke came out. Um, it did bog down more than a couple times. Uh, she's running pretty smoothly now. This is round four. Round four consists of basically the two intake cleanings, um, and then we did a uh, second engine flush with another can of uh, liquid molly that I had. So this was the one that we did first, and this is round four because I had it left, and uh, why not? Nothing exceeds like excess, especially when you're dealing with an engine that's dirty. So uh, we're timing down our 14 minutes on the liquid molly engine flush now with the uh, 3.5 quarts of the Restore and Protect from Valvoline. So the question now, ladies and gentlemen, is do we fill the crankcase with Valvoline 20 weight 50, or do we go with the 5 weight 30 Restore and Protect? I think the Restore and Protect is probably gonna be better to clean overall. I'm probably gonna go that, and then just fill it up with uh, 20 weight 50 if it burns off, and I will report back